I'm Thomas Serena. I'm a general and vascular surgeon by practice and by boards, although all I do right now is wound and hyperbaric medicine. So what effect does this oxygen under pressure have? What it does is drives blood vessel growth, a process initially described by Dr. Folkman as angiogenesis, the growth of new blood vessels. And that's how hyperbaric works. If you're trying to make a decision about who should go in a chamber, it's who needs angiogenesis. Who's a candidate for hyperbaric? I mean, who will benefit from uh, this therapy? And it's actually patients whose quality of life is disrupted from radiation cystitis or other adverse effects of uh, radiation. What does radiation do over a long period of time? It causes the bladder mucosa to become ischemic. It's just like ischemic uh, colitis or ischemia in any mucosal bearing surface. It's increased scarring, decreased bl uh, blood vessel growth, and if you have decreased blood vessel growth, a process called endotoritis obliterans, then what do you need? You need angiogenesis, and that's what, how this machine works. You know, radiation cystitis may be more common than you think. We just completed the American College of Hyperbaric Medicine registry looking at patients with radiation cystitis, and this is exactly what we found. Now, many patients will have severe radiation cystitis, but actually the more common patient has m mild or moderate disease, but his quality of life is severely affected. Research from a urologic perspective might involve things like interstitial cystitis, or erectile dysfunction due to late effects of radiation therapy. These are areas where I believe hyperbaric oxygen therapy and its angiogenic properties may be of significant benefit. Erectile dysfunction. Uh, some erectile dysfunction may well be the late effects of radiation therapy for patients treated for prostate cancer. The bottom line though really is, what do we use hyperbaric for? We use hyperbaric to drive blood vessel growth. It's a biological effect, angiogenesis, the growth of new blood vessels. So if you have a patient that you think might benefit from hyperbaric oxygen therapy, contact us here at Hyperbaric Medical Solutions and we will evaluate the patient and see if they are indeed a candidate uh, for this type of treatment.